A commune is an intentional living area that attempts to create a better society than the ones they lived before. Communal living in the late 1960s and early 1970s was considered a social reconstruction against pop culture, normally associated with free love and the use of drugs. Communal living is based off of the utopian theory and has taken place throughout history. The Summer of Love was the social movement starting in San Francisco in 1967 where hippies and people who questioned themselves as humans and the environment around them came together to live in Haight-Ashbury, a neighborhood in San Francisco, without consumerism values. It was the start of the hippie revolution and an outburst of communal living around the world. The Vietnam War was one of the first to be broadcasted on television, which started mass protests against it. These people were so open to peace because they were against the Vietnam War and war itself. Some would do anything to attain knowledge. As a result, many of these people experimented with drugs like LSD and marijuana to connect with nature and people. Communal living in the late 1960s has an influential significance in history. But why? What was life like there, and what were some of the effects of communal living? The utopian theory, a theory suggested by Richard Dyer, explained that utopia was the perfect place that only could be attained by creating a group of people with the same peaceful mindset. Hippies took this theory and experimented with community living. People on the communes believe strongly in trust and honesty, which is why there was minimal privacy on a commune. There was not much structure or leaders on a commune because it was such a new way of life. Most found great value in nature. People made communes to escape the existing society and create one that was natural, instinctual, loving, and peaceful, rejecting the war on Vietnam. On communes, hippies would enjoy life with little material value and grow and create most of the things they used. On the communes, people would share love, food, ideas, and a home. The people all shared the desire to escape to a place that was away from city problems and suburban dullness. Those who lived on communes were social explorers, whose generation had an impact on society and life today. There were men, women, and kids living together in a very open atmosphere. It has been about 46 summers since the Summer of Love, and still these ideas influence our life today. Parts of music, clothing, and outlooks on life from this time are projected onto current art and society. As these flower children discovered flaws in their commune utopia lifestyle, the world gained in social knowledge. Communes still exist today and are likely influenced by the communes from the Summer of Love and the Hippie Revolution.